up, everybody? How's all my friends doing out there? Well, I'm Tega, and I'm feeling good today because we're back to Upstreet's training camp. Where we're learning how to grow stronger. Mm, mm. Well, <laughs> not muscle strong on the outside, but strong on the inside. So no matter what is thrown at us each day, no matter how hard choices get at school or at home or with our friends, we can stand strong in what we know God wants us to do. And I've got a little something today that I think you guys are really gonna enjoy that's gonna help you make sense of all the things that we read right in here in the Bible. But first, let's get our game on. This is how you play Optical Confusion. In just a moment, you'll see seemingly two identical images on the screen. Look closer and you'll find there are five differences between the two pictures. Your task is to find the five differences in each set of pictures before the timer runs out. Spot all five and consider yourself a winner because you are. Get ready. Round one begins now. was fun for me. I hope it was for you. Did you spot all five? Be sure to blink because you'll need your eyes peeled as we begin round two now. Well done. I hope you spotted the differences. Thanks for playing Optical Confusion. Hey guys, Lex here. Okay, listen, I want to read the Bible. I really do. But can I tell you a secret just between us? This book is confusing sometimes. Like, look at all these pages. There's so much in here, and what's in here is important. I know it is. So I want to read it and get something out of it. And I want to learn from it but I don't always know how to do that. I kind of need some help. I got you, Lex. This is your lucky day, because we are talking about that very thing. I want all of you to grow stronger when you read your Bible, but I get it. We don't always know or understand what we're reading. Me neither. I mean, this is pretty big, y'all. Like, look how big this is. There are tons of words in here, but the Bible is really about how much God loves us and how much he wants us to love other people. And y'all, lean in here. This is the most important thing. Most importantly, the Bible tells us about Jesus. It tells us about how God sent Jesus because he loves us. By learning about Jesus, we learn about how God wants us to treat others and love others as he loves us. And here's a simple way for us to understand what we're reading. When we read the Bible, we can look for one of these three things. The Bible helps you, one, know what's true, two, know what to do, and three, know what not to do. All right, so let's look at the first one. Know what's true. When we read the Bible, we can read something that's true about God. Or maybe we read about a promise from God, like this verse found here in the book of Joshua. It says, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Joshua 1, 9. 
When we read this, we discover something that is true about God. Can you guess what it is? Yes, that he's with us. You could even underline that part in your Bible to help you remember it. You could even write true out to the side so you won't forget it. God is with us wherever we are, at school, at home, on the school bus, whenever we're scared, when we're excited, God is always with us. That's the truth. So the Bible helps us know what's true, but it also helps us know what to do. Let's say you're reading one night before you go to bed, you're flipping pages, and you're reading in the book of Ephesians and you see this. It says, be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as in Christ, God forgave you. Ephesians 4.32. So there are some things here that tell us what to do. Can you see what they are? It tells us how to treat people. So when you see that, you circle the things that you know God wants you to do. It's hard to remember how we should treat people when someone's hurt us or when we're struggling wanting to get our own way. It's hard. But right here, we learn that God wants us to be kind and compassionate to everyone. And when we circle it, we could write to do out to the side so it can help us remember what we read. Now, let's look at that third and last one. The Bible helps us know what not to do. Keyword, y'all, not. The Bible is full of wisdom from God that helps us know how to live the best way possible. So we want to know what things God thinks are unwise things to do and say. Let's say you're reading one night and you read this in your Bible. It says, the Lord detests lying lips, but he delights in people who are trustworthy. Proverbs 12, 22. We definitely read something here that tells us what we should not do. Think you know what it is? It's lying. Lying is definitely not good, friends. You could put a box around the words that remind you what not to do. That will help you remember not to tell a lie. Maybe as you read, you see something that reminds you of when you've messed up or something you know you need to do better. The great news is we know God always forgives us when we ask. And we know he's always there to help us when we need him. You see how this works? Every time you read the Bible, you can look for one of these three things. You can one, know what's true, two, know what to do, and three, know what not to do. Reading God's word will absolutely make you stronger because it helps you train for the moments when you need to know what to do. Like when something happens at school, or during recess, or in the cafeteria, or even when you're hanging out with your friends in your neighborhood. You'll be stronger if you read God's word. Now let's pray. God, thank you so much for giving us your word. Thank you so much for the Bible. Please help us to become stronger each and every day. We love you. Amen. Your word is a lamp for my feet. A light on my path. Your word is a lamp for my feet, a light on my path. Psalm 119, 105. Now that's something that's so easy. I can remember to do that and that's like super helpful. Let's do it together with something I'm reading right now. Love one another as I have loved you. John 13, 34. What do you think? Does this verse tell us something that's true, something to do, or something not to do? Well, love one another sounds like something we should do, right? To love people like Jesus has loved us. We could circle that and then write true to the side of the verse to help us remember it. That was so easy. Let's do it again. 
At the end of this video, I'll put up another verse so you can try it on your own this week. You got this, guys. Bye, friends. I'm not My eyes.